Hi, I'm Elizabeth and I'm Cindy and we're here with another Feeding Frenzy for the Master Key System and we're on part three, number seven. When the solar plexus is in active operation and is radiating life, energy, and vitality to every part of the body and to everyone whom he meets, the sensations are pleasant, the body is filled with health, and all with whom he comes in contact experience a pleasant sensation. Makes sense. How do they experience a pleasant sensation, do you suspect? Well, I think it's just a matter of uh, magnetism. When you're mm -hmm. putting off a positive vibe, people are going to get a positive vibe okay. from you. That you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I think it's, I don't think that's meant to be a very big mystical thing. I think it's just one of those common sense things. So when we're more positive, everybody around us feels better. Yeah. Yeah. So they can feel it. Mm -hmm. Okay, I can buy that mm -hmm. because I know if I walk in a room and somebody's not feeling so good, I can tell. Yeah, well, it, you can tell when their energy is down. Your uh, yours automatically drains mm -hmm. to their level. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah. Have you ever been around um, someone who is particularly negative, mm -hmm. and you can feel your energy drop? Mm, yesterday. <laughs> that not negative. was mean. Not negative. You were not feeling good yet. I was not feeling good. You were in a but, bad mood. You but that? you have to admit, once I came out, and interacted with everyone else, every else, everyone else's mood went south. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Even though mm -hmm. it you know, wasn't necessarily negative, it just wasn't a good mood. Yeah. And I could feel it when you walked in the room. Mm -hmm. It was like, oh, keep my mouth shut, you know. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, that makes sense. So, when the solar plexus is in active operation and is radiating life, energy, and vitality to every part of the body and to everyone whom he meets. Mm -hmm. The sensations are pleasant. The body mm -hmm. is filled with health, and mm -hmm. all with whom he comes in contact with sure. pleasant sensations. Sure. Makes sense to me. Okay, so, but how do we stay in a good, pleasant mood all the time? You know, there's times when I just don't feel so pleasant. I don't think we can. I think we can recognize where we're at and change it again. So I think it's something that you constantly have to be aware of. Okay. Do you see what I'm saying? So just aim for that, not aim for it. Yeah, hit but, it every time, but strive for that. I think it's something we strive for because it's a practice, just like everything else. And I don't think you can be hundred percent happy all the time. Okay, all right, I can buy that. I think you can get back to it, and the more you practice it, the quicker you can get back to it. Okay, but I don't think that's a level that we can attain and stay there. Okay. Something's always going to rock a boat. Right. Well, we can pretty much walk in a room and guess who's feeling good and who's not. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so it's a, even if, if we can't, even if it's not something we can stay at all the time, we can at least use it to our advantage when we walk in a room. Exactly. So who's where? Yes. Okay. Yes. I can buy that. So, different question now. What? How have you tried to meditate yet? I have. And how did I have? Um, sometimes it was good and refreshing, and other times it, I was not successful. Really? It really depended on where my state of mind was mm. when I sat down. If I don't set the intention to meditate, then I just sit with my thoughts. Mm -hmm. And my yeah. thoughts just want roam and wander and, you know, I just become focused on what the mm -hmm. thoughts are. Mm -hmm. Now, if I, when I sit down and say, okay, I'm just going to zone for a little while. I'm just going to meditate for a little while. When I set the intention to do that, then I notice my focus isn't on my thoughts. Mm -hmm. So my thoughts tend to just... Out. Okay. So, that makes do any you, sense. yeah. Do you, um, did you find it easy to just inhibit all thought? Is that something you can do? Just boom? No, I can't do that yet. You can't do it at all? or just No, I, I can't do it the second okay. I sit down. All right. It's still a process. Okay. And, you know, obviously the more you pro practice it, the better you get at mm -hmm. it. Can I sit down and immediately say, okay, I'm going to meditate now and my mind go blank? No. Okay. There's, it's still a process. Okay. All right, well, good. Now, what, about you? Better. what about you? Well, I still have a lot of trouble making my mind blank. I can think of a chalkboard, and every time something's on it, I erase it, mm -hmm. which has worked in the past the, the best for me mm -hmm. because it's something I can relate to. Mm -hmm. I think of a whiteboard, maybe. Okay. Mm -hmm. Every time a thought comes, I write it on there and wipe it out, mm -hmm. and that helps. It's still a lot of thinking, though. Mm -hmm. And so um, I tried to do what you said and just think about a wall, and I could do that okay, but I'd still get thoughts creeping in, mm -hmm. and I tried to do the white noise thing, and that, it, it'll just take practice, mm -hmm. you know, 
I'm just not there yet. And it's really, really hard for me to just cut my mind out. Yeah. yeah. And say, stop. Yeah. You know. I also tend to have a problem just being still. It's really hard for me to be still. I've got to be fidgeting or doing a something. fingernail or something all the time. Shaking my leg. I mean, you stop me for a lot. Just, i just got to be moving. And I don't know if that's just nervous energy or habit or what. But it's really hard for me. It's but I will get better. It's practice. I will get better. I will keep practicing. I'm, I'm getting, getting better. better. I'm getting better. Yes. So it's all good stuff. That is good stuff. <laughs> shrink, shrink. 